We're in Revelation chapter 20 today and looking at the end of the Kingdom Age. Uh, we saw last time the Kingdom Age ends with a great battle as Satan takes a, a multitude of people in rebellion against the Lord uh, into a great battle against the Lord. They actually surround, according to verse 9, the, the city of Jerusalem. They try apparently to overthrow Christ himself. They are quickly uh, destroyed. Satan himself is cast into the lake of fire. And then uh, there's one more event that takes place before the eternal state begins, and that is the final judgment. And this final judgment is upon the unbelievers of all ages. Uh, we usually call this the great white throne judgment. Based upon verse 11, which says, I saw a great white throne, and him who sat upon it, uh, from whose presence the earth and heaven fled away, and no place was found for them. And so that is why we get the name. So we have this great judgment taking place. And uh, him that sits on the throne probably is Christ. We find in John chapter 12, verse 48, that uh, Scripture says that, that all judgment is given to Christ. So most likely he is the judge at this time. Um, we find in verse 11 a, a couple of things that are of interest to us. The, it says the heaven and earth fled away. Uh, this would indicate that uh, apparently the heaven and earth, as we know it today, is now gone. It's been destroyed. It, it no longer exists. It's fled away, so it, it, it isn't present any longer. And so, uh, uh, and, and then the second thing that we notice here, is that it, since there's no place found for them, that this is going to mean that the uh, judgment must take place in some kind of uh, space unknown to us. Now, perhaps it's simply in space itself, uh, because it's not going to take place on earth or in heaven uh, or in the New Jerusalem that we'll look at next time, so apparently just in space in some format that we probably don't understand. So thinking about that, we find that the, the great white throne judgment has to take place at the end of the millennial uh, kingdom. It has to take place probably in space. Christ most likely is the judge at this time. The subjects are the unbelievers. Uh, we have found in other places of scriptures that the uh, believer has been judged at what we call the judgment seat of Christ. And in the uh, first part of chapter 20, that those who have been resurrected do not partake in these kinds of judgments. And so this has to be unbelievers at this point. Everybody at the great white throne judgment will be unsaved people. Uh, the basis for this judgment uh, is found also in verse 12. He says, the books are opened and another book was opened which is the book of life. And the dead were judged for the things which are written in the books according to their deeds. As we look at this, then we see that there are books that are going to be there, records, recordings, so to speak, of the uh, life of those that are, are present. Uh, there probably will be three set of books, so to speak. There is, a, there is first of all, the the Word of God itself. We find in, in the book of Revelation, or book of John, chapter 12, that, that where people are going to be judged by the Word of God. And so the very law of God, the truth of God, is going to be the standard by which all people are judged. We also find a, a book there, a, a recording of, of their deeds, how people have lived their lives. And that will be not only a recording of the, the sins and behaviors and whatever that they have had, but also how they've reacted to the information they've gotten about the gospel. As we know from, from the book of Luke, that those who do not know the will of God will be punished great, much more greatly than those who did and rebelled. And so we have this book uh, that records the deeds of those that are here. And so there will be uh, different standards, different levels of, of eternal punishment uh, based upon this, this recording, this book. Then the final book is, a book is the Book of Life, and this is the most important book at, on this occasion. If your name is not found written in the Book of Life, uh, then you will, uh, have you, uh, you'll be cast into the lake of fire, according to the next verse. And so this is the, uh, the, the book that will determine your eternal destiny. Uh, everyone whose name is in the Book of Life will spend eternity with the Lord. Those whose names are not recorded there will not. And we know that everyone at the great white throne judgment are those whose names are not written in the book of life. And so we see this a great white throne judgment at this point. And it says, And the sea gave up the dead that were in it, and the death and Hades gave up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every one of them, according to their deeds. And so we find death, which probably is the indication of physical death, 
Hades, which is probably an indication of spiritual death, both of these now are cast into the lake of fire, which is the eternal destiny for those who have rejected and rebelled against the Lord. They're going to be judged, as said, according to their deeds. And so that standard by which they have lived, based, uh, based upon the standard of what, which Christ has given us and how he would want us to live, will be the, the determining factor upon which they are judged. Now, remember, uh, they're, they're all those at the great white throne judgment, do, they do not have their name written in the book of life. They will all spend eternity in the lake of fire. We don't know what the lake of fire really is like. We have our ideas, but we uh, have to be very humble about understanding that. What we do know it is, a, is a destiny in which we are separated forever and ever from the Lord Jesus Christ. We're not under his mercy and grace as we are now. Uh, we are separated from him. We do not know his peace. It's an awful, awful thing. And so all who do not know him will be cast into this horrible destiny. Uh, there will be uh, different degrees of punishment in hell based upon deeds, but that will be the, ad the destiny. We'll finish up the great white throne judgment tomorrow by looking at the final two verses of chapter 20. You have a wonderful day in the Lord.